modem is an interfacing device between analog communication channel and a digital PC. It uses different modulation schemes like uh, BPSK, QPSK, FSK and Quadrature AM or QAM and it does not use PCM for modulation purpose. So the correct option is PCM. So in this question a system has a bandwidth. Bandwidth of the system is given as 4 kilohertz. 4 kilohertz is the bandwidth of the system. And signal to noise ratio of 1023. S by N ratio is 1023 at the input of the receiver. What is the channel capacity? Now by information information capacity theorem capacity C is given by B into log 1 plus S by N and logarithm is taken with base equal to 2. Now bandwidth B is equal to 4 kilohertz 4 thousand hertz in the log s by n ratio is 1023 so 1 plus 1023 is 1024 now 4000 log 1024 can be written as 2 raised to 10 therefore 4000 into log 2 raised to 10 to the base 2 now log 2 raised to 10 to the base 2 will be equal to 10. Therefore the answer is 4000 into 10 that is equal to 40,000. So answer is option A 40,000. In this question the data communication scheme in which data transmission takes place in both the direction but not in the same time. This type of communication uh, transmission is called a half duplex mode. In simplex mode, only one direction transmission is possible, like a radio. In full duplex mode, two-way transmission, simultaneous two-way transmission is possible. Data transmission will be possible, like in a mobile phone. In half duplex mode, example is walkie-talkie or wireless set used by policemen is an example of half duplex mode of communication. Now in this question, there is an error. Uh, signal uh, will be 10 sin 50 pi t or 10 cos 50 pi t. 50 pi t. Here in both case, carrier frequency, angular frequency omega c will be omega c is equal to 50 pi. 50 pi. Therefore, carry, uh, frequency of the signal Fc equal to uh, 50 pi omega c by 2 pi that is equal to 25. By Nyquist sampling theorem, Nyquist sampling frequency is twice the frequency of, uh, of the modulating signal or message signal. 2 into Fc that is equal to 2 into 25 that is equal to 50 samples per second. So Nyquist sampling rate for this signal is 50 samples per second. This question is a direct definition of FM system. In FM system the frequency of high frequency carrier is varied in accordance with the amplitude of the modulating signal. So FM system has this property. In phase modulation the instantaneous phase angle of the carrier wave, high frequency carrier wave is varied in proportion with the message signal. But in amplitude modulation carrier amplitude is made proportion to the instantaneous magnitude of the message signal. In this uh, different pulse modulation schemes are given and uh, which of these pulse modulation schemes employ amplitude modulation. It is very clear from the option that pulse amplitude modulation scheme uses amplitude modulation of the pulse. That means pulse amplitude is varied 
in proportion with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. In pulse position modulation, the position of the pulse is varied according to the instantaneous amplitude of the uh, message signal. In pulse code modulation is a different modulation scheme in that uh, binary code words are produced corresponding to the analog information. In phase modulation, phase angle of the carrier, high frequency carrier is made proportion with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. So correct option is pulse amplitude modulation. Here is a simple question. Compared to frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, what is the advantage of amplitude modulation over frequency modulation? We know that there are several advantages for frequency modulation over amplitude modulation. Uh, modulation employs low frequency spectrum. Therefore, amplitude modulated signal can be transmitted over a wider range. So, AM system is having higher transmission range than FM. So, the following circuit is used for generation of amplitude modulation. The amplitude modulation uh, can be generated using a balanced modulation. A balanced modulator is a system that takes two signals one is modulating signal modulating signal as denoted by m of t and carrier signal balanced modulator produces double sideband suppressor carrier two sidebands will be produced dsb out now this dsb signal is combined with the carrier wave to produce am signal this is a combining network am out therefore you can use a balancer modulator to produce am signal this reactance modulator is used for producing fm signal armstrong modulation system is an indirect method of producing ff so the answer is balanced modulator so in this question we have to find a modulation scheme that is not digital modulation system here pulse amplitude modulation system is the only analog modulation system where amplitude of the pulse is varied in proportion with instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal in pulse code modulation analog signals are sampled quantized and encoded to get a digital output so output will be a digit digital format so it is a digital modulation system differential pulse code modulation is also a pulse a digital modulation system delta pcm is also a variation of pulse code modulation which is also digital modulation system so only analog modulation scheme is pulse amplitude modulation now comparison of fm and am systems are given first uh, statement is amplitude of fm wave is constant that is correct fm is more immune to noise than am that is also correct because we can eliminate or reduce the effect of noise in FM by using amplitude limiter. Third one is FM broadcast operate upper VHF and UHF frequency ranges that is also correct. And fourth statement is FM transmitting and receiving equipment are simple as compared to AM transmitting and receiving equipment. This statement is wrong. Since AM system advantage of AM system is that the transmitting and receiving equipment is simple when comparing with that of FM system. So the correct option is B. In this question, a super heterodyne radio receiver with an intermediate frequency of 455 kHz is tuned to a station operating at 1200 kHz. The associated image frequency is. The expression for fi finding image frequency is Fi equal to image frequency equal to carrier frequency of the station plus 2 into FIF where carrier frequency of the station is 1200 kHz and IF frequency for the system AM system is 455 kHz now using this formula you can find FI equal to FC is 1200 plus 2 into 455 now 1200 plus this will be 910 final answer will be 
2110 kilohertz. So image frequency corresponding to the station frequency Fc equal to 1200 kilohertz will be 910 kilohertz more than this frequency Fc that will be equal to 2110 kilohertz. So this is a simple question of a modulated signal where to find power in the lower sideband of SSBSC. So SSBSC, power of SSBSC single sideband suppressed carrier is M square by 4 PC. M square by 4 PC where M is modulation index. It is given that M equal to 100%. So M will be 1. Carrier power PC equal to 100 watt. So using the formula M is 1, 1 square by 4 into 100 is 25. So power in single sideband suppressor carrier signal will be 25 watts. So the correct option is C. We know that AM is a linear modulation scheme and there are uh, mainly three different types of AM system. First one is conventional AM that contains uh, unmodulated carrier and sidebands. Then we have DSB SC double sideband suppressor carrier system in which carrier is suppressed and we have only two sidebands. And in third system that is SSB SC we have only one sideband carrier and one of the sideband is suppressed by in SSB system we have pilot carrier system pilot carrier system and independent sideband system different kind of AM is vestigial sideband VSB system in vestigial sideband technique a portion of unwanted sideband is transmitted along with a complete sideband and this system is used mainly in television transmission television signal transmission and this kind of as ISP system is used in stereo stereo uh, audio transmission angle modulation is a different kind of modulation scheme in which angle of the modulating signal that is phase angle or frequency is varied in proportion with the modulating signal and there are two kinds of angle modulation schemes they are FM and PM FM that is frequency modulation in which frequency of the carrier is varied in proportion with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal in PM PM system uh, phase angle of the carrier is varied in proportion with the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. And both these two modulation schemes are nonlinear modulation schemes and they are generally uh, termed as angle modulation system. Correct option for this question is angle modulation. Now in this question uh, uh, which one is the pulse digital pulse modulation scheme. We know that PAM, PWM, PPM, these are analog modulation schemes. Only digital modulation scheme uh, among these is PCM, pulse code modulation. PAM, PWM and PPM are used for modulating analog information. In PCM, the output will be in binary coded form. So that is in digital form. Here, uh, this is the definition of PWM. In PWM, the duration of pulse is varied according with the modulating signal. In PAM, the pulse amplitude is varied in proportion with the modulating signal. And in PPM, the position of pulse is varied in accordance with the modulating signal. PCM is a digital modulation scheme that involves uh, sampling, quantization and encoding operations. The final output will be in binary form. In this question, a frequency division multiplexer system, the different channels can be separated by using, uh, you know that uh, in frequency division multiplexing system, FDM, FDM system, the spectrum will be like this. This is 
uh, signal from first user this is signal from second user with the center frequency f2 this is signal from third user fc3 this is the signal from nth user fcn so different users use uh, different signal range different bandwidth sended about carrier frequencies fc1 fc2 etc fcn this signal can be recovered using band pass filters uh, center frequency here fc1 here it is fc2 etc fcn so in frequency division multiplexer system different channels can be separated using band pass filters the demodulation coherent binary psk can be effected using uh, in psk binary psk the signal is multiplied with the this is a multiplier with the carrier that is root of 2 by tb into cos 2 pi fct so carrier signal is generated at the coherent receiver and it is multiplied with the binary received binary psk signal and this signal is integrated over the duration of the bit to get an output and this output is compared with a threshold threshold value threshold of zero volt if this signal x is greater than zero then zero x i less than zero it is taken as one bit binary signal bpsk signal can be recovered using this a product modulator and an integrator the overall circuit is called a correlator the correlator is a circuit that can be used to demodulate a binary psk signal so in this case uh, signals are represented like this s of t first signal s of t equal to ac cos omega 1 t plus theta 1 this is signal corresponding to binary 1 binary 1 that is when bit 1 is transmitted this signal is transmitted and second signal s1 this is s1 and this is s2 ac cos omega 2t plus theta 2 when binary 0 is transmitted so when 0 is transmitted s2 of t is transmitted by the transmitter and in this case the amplitude remains same so amplitude and amplitude is ac in both case but frequency is different so when omega 1 is different from omega 2 the modulation scheme is called frequency fsk frequency shifted key frequency shifted key so when frequency of the carrier is shifted between two values according to the binary input that is transmitted is called a binary fsk or bfsk so the correct option is fsk signal the device which convert the baseband data signal from a computer for sending over analog uh, telephone line and vice versa is called analog information coming to computer from a telephone network is converted into digital form by a device called modem similarly uh, digital information from the computer is converted again into analog form by this model.